So welcome to lesson 13 in our study of optimization 2. <clears throat> and in this video, we'll talk about the modified distribution method, the modal method, right? <clears throat> so the modified distribution method is a modified version of the stepping stone method in which we use mathematical equations ui plus cg and vg equals cig so you could see if you're not very careful with the stepping stone method you might not be able to trace the path correctly or maybe somehow a bit tedious but we have the modified distribution method which is a modified version of the stepping stone method and and that's quite simple so with that one we have some equations which we solve right and the equations replace the stopping stone path so here ui plus vj is the intersection of the source i and destination j right so when you have the ui plus vj the i is for the source and the j is for the path and for the destination so one thing i should note is that each modal allocation replicates the stepping stone allocation right and after each allocation to an empty cell the ui and vj must be recomputed so we will explain that with examples so the steps of the modified distribution method are the first thing you do is to develop an initial feasible solution using one of the three methods available then you solve for ui and vj such that ui plus vj equals cig so after doing that you compute the cost kig for each empty cell using kig equals cig minus ui minus vj then after that you allocate as much as possible to the empty cell that will result in the greatest net decrease in cost so allocate according to the stop stepping stone path for the selected cell okay then you repeat steps two through step four until all kig are positive or zero all right so don't worry this is not difficult at all so let's have an example with it so an example it says green value mills produces a carpet at plants in st louis and richmond the carpet is then shipped to two outlets located in chicago and atlanta the cost per ton of shipping carpet from each of the two plants to the two warehouses is as follows so what you can see here it says the plants at st louis and richmond can supply 250 tons and 450 tons of carpet per week respectively the chicago outlet has a demand of 300 tons per week and the outlet at atlanta demands 350 tons per week the company wants to know the number of tons of carpet to ship from each plant to each outlet so as to minimize total shopping cost shipping cost sorry so we have to solve this transportation problem <coughs> so this is going to be we we'll first have to write a tableau for it our initial tableau and that's how it is going to be right so from destination one to destination a b so these are the costs so you can see that they even help us direct from destination one to destination a from source one sorry to destination a the cost is 40 dollars from one to b it's supposed to be b dot the cost is 650 and they told the demand so <clears throat> the supply here is 250 the supply here is 400 the demand here is 300 the demand here is 350 so based on that we can draw this table okay so after getting this our table then the next thing that we have to do is to look for the initial basic feasible solution and we are going to use the least cost cell method to do it you can use any method to do that okay all right so let me clean it so that we do it together 
So we ask ourselves, out of these cells that we have, which of them has the least cost? And that is this, right? Which has 30. And it's 30. The demand that corresponds to the column that it belongs to is 350 and the row is 400. That means we can put all the 350 here. Right? So that the demand here is met. Then the next one is 40. So with this 40, the supply is 250 and the demand is 300. So that means you can put all the 250 here and the supply here is met. So you can see that the demand here needs um, 50 more and the supply here also needs 50 more. So when you bring this 50 here, when you add it to, you get 300. This is also met. When you add it to, you get 400. This is also met. So this is going to be the initial basic feasible solution using the least cost method, right? And when you find for the transportation cost, it will be 40 times 250 plus 50 times 70 plus 30 times 350, which will give us $24,000, okay? So now, as we're getting the initial basic feasible solution, we are supposed to check and see whether it is optimal or not, right? So we are going to use the modified distribution method to do that. So from the tableau that we had, this is how we do it. So we look for the cells which has allocations, right? So you can see we have an allocation here. We have one here and one here as well. So when we come here, you see the I are one and the you know we, we said we compute U I plus V G, which corresponds to C I G, right? So um, here we are going to get U one because when it comes to the cell here to be U one because I is one plus V E equals forty. When it comes here to be U two plus V E equals seventeen. And when it comes here to be u2 plus vmb equals 13. So we are going to have this system of equations, right? Then we set u1 to be 0 to find for the other values. So when u1 is 0, it means from here va will be 40. And if va is 40, from here u2 will be 30. And if u2 is 30, from here vmb will be what? 0. So now those are the values for U1, V, A, U2, and V, B. So after that, we calculate the cost change for the empty cell. And the cost change is given by K, I, G is equal to C, I, G minus U, I minus V, G. Right? So we calculate the cost change for the empty cells. So this is the only empty cell we have here, right? Mm -hmm. So... It is K1B. So, calculating the cost change for K1B will be equal to C1B. Listen, KIG equals CIG minus UI minus VG. So, it will be C1B minus U1 minus VB. And from the question, C1B has a cost of 65 minus U1. We had U1 to be 0. And VB2 was 0. So, 65 minus 0 minus 0, which is equal to 65. So that means that if we put something here, cost rather increase by a huge amount, right? So since K one B is greater than or equal to zero, it implies that the current solution is optimal, right? Since in maxim minimization problem, it's always optimal when our C I J minus Z J C J minus Z J is greater than or equal to zero. So hence the transportation cost for this problem is the $24,000 that we had. So we are very fortunate. Uh, this cost method did a fantastic job on the first attempt. We didn't have to do much iteration. Okay? So this is how we also use the modified distribution method. So for instance, if we had not obtained an optimal solution, we would have calculated the stepping stone path for the cell which give us a negative change, right? And we would continue doing the iteration, right? So thank you very much. And see you in the next series of lesson, which will probably be on transshipments, okay?